So aside from Oregon State uh, in what was week zero, I guess we would call it two weeks ago when a handful of teams played Oregon State losing to Colorado State 58 to 37, the Pac-12 was undefeated. Went 11 and 0, that's right. Not a whole lot of huge wins, but of course, highlighted by UCLA knocking off a mid-tier SEC team. But this weekend, yeah, so undefeated outside of the Oregon State loss, big Big weekend across the nation for the Power Fives, of course, but uh, for the Pac-12 in particular, a lot of very under-the-radar games outside of the conference, but could prove very difficult group of five type opponents. So Oregon hosts Nebraska. You've got that game. Utah at BYU. Boise State at Washington State, as you guys mentioned. Minnesota goes to Oregon State. Um, Arizona State's got a difficult game with San Diego State at home. Arizona takes on Houston. Yep. So, so some tricky games for the lower tier of the Pac-12 and trying to hold up conference pride against uh, the group of five. Yeah, not yeah. going to be not going to be undefeated this week. That's for sure. Um, you know, because <laughs> the USC and Stanford playing each other, but but not going to be undefeated outside of the conference either. There 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 are some folks who are going to get tripped up there. Those are those are some great contests though, and we're going to learn a lot about the conference in week two you know what does it look like what's the pecking order going to be um and who actually has a chance to make some noise it's going to be fascinating yeah and also i'm interested to see if some of the the teams we're expecting to be the bottom dwellers can kind of elevate themselves because right now the arizona schools are yeah. not look uh, look, looking exciting uh, and so he, would they, would you say they have Houston and San Diego state? That could be zero and two for the conference right there. Totally. Agree. Um, I don't expect either of those teams to, to win. Yeah. PJ Fleck and Minnesota coming out to Oregon state. That's just an interesting matchup just in general. It's like the, 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 the tier C squad Rose bowl game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I that's a return they, trip from last year. Like, <laughs> okay, Gary okay. Anderson has got to be a little thankful for Kevin Sumlin, you know, because Oregon <laughs> State didn't do much in, in week one, but they were abysmal in week zero. So, oh, man, yeah. yeah. Sumlin took a little bit of the heat off of him because, <laughs> man, they look bad. <laughs> this Nebraska, is not Nebraska and Oregon is just – that's – that. I, that feels like it could be a wild one because you're just not really sure what either of those teams are. I got to tell you, the Ducks look good, though. I, I – I was hoping Taggart couldn't pull them back together that quickly. They they look terrific. So that's yeah. another home and home return trip uh, from Nebraska, where Oregon went for was it seven two point plays oh, in yeah. all last year, or they would have won at Nebraska. Yep. So that was the first nail in the coffin for Mark Helfrich. Yeah, probably ended his run. Good good call. Well, that and literally everything the Oregon defense did for like the previous two years or didn't do. Yeah. Well. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is going to be a, an interesting week. And then uh, once we get into like full blown conference play, we're going to get some Friday night games and pack 12 after dark starting up again. And it's, it's going to get weird out West and it's going to be fantastic. I think this is going to be a really good season. Yeah. What watch out for Oregon, the Holy war probably is going to be really good. I'm not sure either of those teams is as talented as usual, uh, but BYU has heart as it always does. They got thumped down in the swamp, but they're going to show up for this one and they'll be sky high. And and this is another one of those throw out the records, throw out the rosters. You know, I, yeah. I get it's laundry playing laundry, but man, those games, folks east of the Mississippi just do not understand how intense that rivalry is. Yeah, that's very true. And it's it's weird having like an intense rivalry uh week 2. Like could you imagine not that I'm comparing them on the scale or scope, but like could you imagine if Alabama played Auburn in September? Like it would just just be weird. Um but week two out of conference, like it, you're right, that's a very passionate and emotional rivalry game, and it's that thing could be a nail biter. One team could come out and just clobber the other one. Yep, um, it could go that, lots of different directions. Yeah, that thing can get pretty intense pretty quickly, and it's in terms of uh, its intensity in September. If you want a little taste of rivalry week uh, from Thanksgiving. Uh, you 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 do well to watch that game if you can find it on TV. 